faces from the first two films mm-hmm. um, in the third film, Brotherhood, and a few notable absentees. How important was it to you to assemble the original cast or as much of the original cast as possible? I tried to assemble all the cast. Yeah. That's how. What, that's what I do, you know. When when we did Kid Out, we brought through a lot of people, including myself. I'm not acting like I was responsible for everyone's career, but that film, the reason a lot of us are still working is because of that film. And yeah. people can say no, no, what they want. But the reason a lot of us are still working is because of that film. And we brought through a lot of those people. And then I always used to try and work with the same people. That's how I am. I'm one of those people that if I bring you through and i got love for you, then we'll always work together. And that's how that's that's what I do. And I, I tried to do that again. Sometimes people fall by the wayside, but that's life. So when you say you tried, were there some people that just weren't on coming back for the third film? Yeah. Yeah. Who? Femi didn't, Femi didn't want to come back. Are there any reasons do people kind of feel like they've progressed beyond well, where the films at? He said he said that he just he, he didn't feel like it was beneficial for him. He didn't feel like it was beneficial for him. Like we're not friends, so I'm like cool. You don't want to come back, so I'm like, what can I do? I I'm not going to get annoyed. Riley didn't want to come back. Riley Richie didn't want to come back. So somebody else plays my brother. So, but, but as, as well as obviously some people not making it, you do bring through some new talent. Yeah. Uh, Stormzy's first acting role. Yeah. Uh, in this in this film, did Stormzy need to audition for the part, or was it written with him in mind? He didn't need to audition for the part. He did he did meet me, and he did we did do a reading and stuff like that. But it wasn't really an audition, and it wasn't written with him in mind. But basically. I mean, this was months before, like the blo- like before he exploded into like worldwide megastar, right? Yeah. So, I kind of was watching him for a while, and my business partner Jason was like, "You should look at you should look at this guy." And, like this is my- and we you know these films don't just happen; they're set up like six, seven, eight, nine a year before. Yeah. So I was looking at the freestyles, and I had this character. It wasn't written for him, but there was this character that he just suited so much. And then I was like, he suits that character so much. Let me just. So one day I'm, I'm sitting in the thing. I'm like, let me just tweet this brother, like a little DM. And I followed him. Yeah. Then I see like about a few hours later, follow back. All right. So I just DM'd him. So listen. You slipped in, you slipped in storms these DMs. Yeah. That's how you did it. I said, listen, man. <laughs> and I started talking to him. We just started talking a little bit, and like, there's a mutual respect there. I love what he's doing. That's the. He's the kind of person when I see a man like him, I'm like, I wish I was young again, so I could really be in there. So you could have them perky pecs. I could really, yeah, I could really be in there and you know go to the gig and. You know, but I'm just... Were you impressed by his acting skills or did you have to give him yeah, any no, tips? Yeah, no, he's very good, but you can see that. You, what people don't realise is when you're performing, you're performing. And when he's, when he's performing on stage and he's doing what he does, you doing what he does, you can see how good he is, even if he doesn't know it. So for me, it was just, I just had to rein it in. And so he, he, eventually he's, he was like, yeah, I would love to do some acting. We agreed everything. He came and did the film and he, I think he was nervous at first, but he's, he's brilliant. 